Saturday, March 6th, just shy of 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're at Quincy Bluffs Wetland State Natural Area. Saunters will be joining me here shortly, and we're just going to do a little bit of exploring up on a couple of the bluffs that are out in this wetlands area. So, uh, probably talk a little bit about the history of the area and just see what we can see. So, another gorgeous, gorgeous spring day. Let's get to it. Just past, just past the Civil War, so uh, people were. Yeah, you got that, uh, what do they call it, some kind of a moss under there. Yeah, and if you're ever going to try to get through here in the fall, those are the things you have to kind of find and walk on. And it's easier said than done. So far so good, we're not finding too much open water. Have found the trail. <laughs> We're going to take it up and see what we can see. There is reportedly an actual trail that goes up to the top. And we've yet to find it. But we think we found a possible route. nearly up to the top. There's really kind of a path up here. People have walked it. This is very interesting. If you look at yeah! this, <laughs> he's happy. You look at this right here. That is actually erosion from the lake shoreline. And what lake you ask? That lake. All of these bluffs, including the one we're climbing, Lone Rock, were islands in Glacial Lake, Wisconsin. And that's what we're doing. We're climbing from the bottom of the lake up to one of the islands. Here we go. Up on the top, one side of it anyway. Lone Rock, island in the lake. Just imagine all of this underwater with a massive piece of ice hanging in the background as it was receding. A piece of ice that's like quarter mile to a half mile high. I mean, just imagine that. You're looking past those bluffs and you can't even see the one that's through the pass right there. You can't even see that one because it's blocked with a piece of ice. <laughs>
suckers were taking a break up at the top of Lone Rock out in the Quincy Bluff wildlife area. Ah, about 4.9 miles that we've come so far today. And you can see out here is actually Quincy Bluff. The old fire tower hanging up there. There's a little strip of private land that runs right through here. Um, what we did, we are parked about on the back side of that spot where the finger is. And we took a logging road from the parking lot on the back side and it went all the way down to that pass that you're going to see, I'm trying to figure out where my finger is, that pass that you see right there. And then we followed the bluff line all the way up, all the way up, right to about there is where the private land, I actually no, I'm wrong. Private land is right there on that knob and we are just on the other side of it. Backtracked a little bit to about here found level hmm, where the drop-off wasn't so steep and we dropped down into the swamp and we took that swamp almost straight across down to the right about here we followed that we followed this whole line of tamarack through the swamp right about there you get your feet wet a little bit and then we followed the trail down here and then went around the back side before we finally found a way up. Uh, quite the adventure today. Some bushwhacking, climbing, swamp walking. Now off in the distance, that is Lake Pete and Well on the Wisconsin River. And you're starting to see the bluffs and hills of the Driftless region back off that way. Down this way is the Baraboo Hills, which begins the Driftless region in that area as well. And again, this was all lake, all the way up to all those bluffs you see out there, and these were islands in that lake. And making our way out on a two track appears to be rather unmaintained. Having to skirt private property. And uh, on the map we're using, it shows old snowmobile trail or old two tracks, but we keep wandering, sticking to the two track, but it keeps wandering off where it shows it on the map. So. That always makes the adventure a little more interesting. We're just gorgeous woods here in March. Real pleasant walk. And we get to climb over down trees. Look at it. Yeah. And there's some more private land right there. Alright. I'm going to go over a log. Sometimes I cut these. Oh, wow, on the back end of a nine and a half mile day, right? Tough nine and a half. Yeah, it was a tough nine and a half. Got road for the next mile or so back. And there's Quincy Bluff in front of us again. We were up the, not quite to that point. We were a little bit uh, that direction. There comes the magic finger. Oh. Look at this, this oak savanna that they cleared out. They're gonna have to come back in and burn again to get the little guys out, but uh, oh, and look at that, a piece of metal. Yeah, we should pick that up for scrap, you know, just like in one of those uh, video games. Right? We can turn it into bullets or something, or <laughs> armor. Oh, wow, what a deal. Those rock outcroppings over there. This has been a fantastic day. We uh, crossed swamps, climbed up and down bluffs. Not a lot of defined trails. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it was for a little bit, but then uh, once you get up on the bluff and, and, trails and yeah, deer are awesome. You know, you think about it, a deer, they stand tall one, man. Their heads are up to our heads, right? You know, how do they get through some of those trees? I can't get under that. How do they do that? And at the yeah. speeds they can run it. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at how the, look at the depression down here. This is the neat stuff. This is the stuff that when you're just driving by, you don't take notice of, but this isn't just flat land. <laughs> wow. Well, an absolutely gorgeous this day. Bottom. This is the lake bed. Yeah, yeah, this is true. There's probably some, uh, you know, protozoan sharks down there or something. Is that a thing, protozoan sharks? I don't know. Well, guess we'll wrap it up here on a gorgeous day. Uh, Temperature started out about 25. I don't know. What do you think it is? About 45 right now? Yeah, yeah, Pushing 50? Yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes. This is summer weather for me. All right. Well, for saunters and turtle, guys, uh, hopefully we can make something out of this uh, footage we got here. And, uh, and a few pictures we took. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome Another place. Grand adventure. Yeah, this was quite an adventure. Well worth it. Later, Gators.